In version 16.50, PLS programs have added the ability to export reports directly to PDF files and upload them to Google Drive or Google Sheets. In this video, we will look at a couple examples of how to use these new capabilities. To start, we'll open up an example project and we'll first look at the ability to create a PDF file of a graphical report. Note, however, that PLSCAD has always been able to print a report to a PDF file by going to File Print and choosing a PDF print driver that you have installed on your computer. The feature we're showing today, however, relies on the PDF driver that's built into Windows 10, so this feature is only compatible if you're using Windows 10. It also is only supported for graphical views. So to show an example, let's perform a structure check on this PLS poll structure number 9. After the check completes and you get this report options toolbar, let's pick an option for a text report like the standard report, and then we'll pick the overview report, which is a graphical report, and then click the report button. Let's first look at the graphical overview report. For more information on the PLS poll and tower graphical overview reports, check out the link to our other YouTube video demonstration in the description below. Since this is a graphical report, we can use the new PDF feature by right-clicking in the report and choosing the option Save as PDF. This opens up a submenu and we have three options. The first is just to simply create a PDF document of this report, and when we choose that option we get to select where the PDF is saved and change the name of the PDF file if we want. When we click Save, it makes the PDF and we can go open it if we want to view it in our PDF viewer. The second option is for creating the PDF document, but then also automatically loading it into the Reference Manager. For more information on the Reference Manager, check out the link in the description below. The third and final option is to create the PDF and upload it to our Google Drive. Once you select this, a web browser will open asking you to sign into your Google account and allow PLS software access to your Google Drive. Then, with your web browser, it will show you a code that you must copy and paste back into the PLS program you're using. After that, the PDF document is generated and uploaded to your Google Drive, and the PLS program will ask you if you wish to view the PDF in your default web browser. You also may receive an email notification of a security alert from Google informing you that you've linked your PLS software to your Google Drive. Should you ever wish to remove PLS software access to your Google Drive, you will need to sign into your Google account. Then you'll need to click on your Google profile picture in the upper right corner and choose the Manage Your Google Account option. From there you can click on the security link on the left side and scroll down until you come to Third Party Access section. If you click on the Manage Third Party Access button, you can then click on Powerline Systems and the Remove Access button. You can only have PLS software tied to one Google account at a time, so you will need to go through these steps if you ever wish to change which Google Drive PLS software uploads to. Let's now take a look at a text-based report and click on the standard report that was generated by our structure check. If you right-click anywhere in the report, you'll no longer see a PDF option. If you want to make a PDF of this text report, you'll need to go through the previous route of printing the report and choosing a PDF print driver. However, text reports can still take advantage of the Google Drive integration features. So if you right-click in this text report, you'll see that there's a new option to save to the Google Drive. This will save the entire report as a .txt file and give you the option to change the file name before uploading it. If a text report has the ability to be table viewed like this one, then you'll also now see an option to save the report to a Google Sheet. This only works for individual subsections in a report. So this standard report only has one section, for example. But if I were, for example, to run the Lines Report Summary Report, you'll see that when I right-click inside of it, there are several different subsections I can choose from to export out to Google Sheets. I'll just pick the first one here so we can see the process. And then after it uploads, it asks if you'd like to view it in Google Sheets. And if you select Yes, you can then see it in your Google Sheets section of Google Drive. We hope that you find this new feature and demonstration helpful in your future projects. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more information about our software, please see our website at www.powerlinesystems.com or contact us at info at To receive a quote 
For purchase or renewal of your license, please contact sales at powline.com. And for any technical inquiries, please contact support at powline.com. Thank you for watching and your interest in our software, the industry standard in overhead line design.